What's up guys and gals, it is Best of Games, and we are doing a commentary today, and I'm actually going to upload this on the day that I record it because I have enough stuff doc uh, stuff stockpiled that it really doesn't matter when I actually put up this upload, and I'd like it to keep, to keep it timely. So uh, as you can read in the title of this one, it is about the supply drops and how you can buy them, and I'm actually really annoyed by this. Um, because it basically is making this game pay to win. Like, you can create an account, go in, spend, I don't know, however much money you want to spend on supply drops, however much you feel is comfortable, which, personally, I feel is a zero, because in Ghosts, you could buy the $4 DLCs for each of the two weapons, the Ripper and whatever the fuck the other one was that I don't remember. Um... And you can buy those for $4 a piece instead of buying the DLCs that come with them and the maps and the other crap that you don't really want. Um, and, <clears throat> I mean, going back, I'd probably spend $4 on a specific gun. Maybe. Maybe. I mean, that's that's a bit much to stomach, personally. But if you have it, whatever. It's cool. You want to have that gun. But you don't want all the maps that come with it. And you only want to spend four bucks on it. I mean, hey, it's your life, man. I mean, the only micro DLC that I have bought in Call of Duty, and that's the past two Call of Duties, is the extra slots pack that gives me more um, custom class slots. And I only want that because I like having a lot of custom classes. I mean, I like being able to... I mean, Black Ops 2, I can have 100 custom classes. I've never even filled up 100 of them. You know what? And that's fine. But the option's there. The option is there for me to have a custom class set up for every single game mode possible. Um, so I can have one for Hardpoint, I can have one for Team Deathmatch, I can have one for like this and that, and everything else. And that's cool. That's that's a cool idea. Um, <laughs> excuse me, I had to get that out. Um, but uh, buying a random supply drop is incredibly stupid and actually before I really really get into this one I am going to just tell you that the gameplay in the background is a brutal with the SN6 money um, it is an incredible elite weapon um, it's actually one of the ones that you can get when you prestige up to like prestige master 13 or some bullshit like that but I got it in a supply drop a couple prestiges ago and I mean it's a great gun it's a great gun um, <laughs> It totally makes the SN6 like awesome. Because um, I tried using the base variant and I was like, no, no. I tried the SN6 money. It was like, yes, this is money. This is good. Um, and that's really my problem with this whole thing is money. Uh, go figure. Um, so the fact that you're going to spend. Hmm, how much money are you going to spend? Well, let's take T. Martin, for example. You know, good old T. Martin, almost 2 million subscribers on YouTube. Sucks Activision's cock. Um, he just spent over $300 on supply drops. He got 230 of them for like 300, 300, 400 bucks. And he's sitting there on Twitter saying, oh, you know, I had to... My credit card company called me up and was like, are these fraudulent charges? Because he kept just spending $20 a pop just buying another supply drop. And honestly, that right there just annoys me. Um, it's not even the fact that you could pay to win. Because honestly, if you're a shitty player and you buy supply drops and you can get, I don't know, a speakeasy out of those, one of those random supply drops, which, the fact that it's random is completely insane and ludicrous, um, but the fact that it's a random drop that you have no control over and you're spending two dollars on each one is insane. If you told me that I could buy the speakeasy for 99 cents, I would be, I, I wouldn't personally, but if I had more money, if I had more expendable income, and I said, hey, I really want the speakeasy, oh, I could spend 99 cents to get it? Mm, okay, here's 99 cents. Like, I would consider that, personally. Like, I would think, hey, you know what? That's actually pretty cool. I can just buy the gun that I want. No big deal. But, of course, if they made it that easy, then nobody would buy these stupid supply drops for $2 a piece. Um... <laughs> Oh my god, I can't believe that I said... I, I can't believe that they're charging $2 for a fucking supply drop. That's so insane. Um, I, I just... I don't have words. 
Um, in a short time, this will actually switch over to another gameplay because the gameplay is going to finish up, and uh, I don't know what it's going to be, but I'm just going to keep talking because I'm not I'm not done with this topic yet. Um, but uh, yeah, two dollars for a supply drop for three random items that are not all guns and that are character customization things is just it hurts it hurts my brain because it shouldn't it shouldn't be you shouldn't be able to spend that that's insane and yet you have these big youtubers who say that they don't get paid by activision and then they go around and then they they're flaunting on twitter that they spent four hundred dollars on fucking supply drops on a game that they probably didn't even purchase in the first place because it was probably handed to them by by Activision. It just I don't I don't get it. I I don't get how you justify spending that much money on a game. And I mean, I guess there's the logic there that this is also with like Counter-Strike, Global Offensive and League of Legends, Dota, Dota 2 and whatever else like that. And whatever. Those are different games, although Counter-Strike is clearly kind of the same thing it's just I, I i don't know i don't know how you justify spending that much money on basically cosmetic crap and things that are completely random like if you told me oh you can have the best gun in the game but it costs you 25 bucks i mean is that pay to win yes would i do it hell no because i'm not stupid but i mean if everybody else did it and i was in a lobby full of people using this 25 five dollar gun I mean, you bet your ass I'd probably stop playing. I'd probably be like, well, fuck this, because none of the other guns compare. Um, I mean, it, it's killing Call of Duty. It really is. And it's kind of sad to say that, but uh, it really is. I mean, it, the fact that you can just buy random drops is completely ludicrous. And it's a complete waste of money. And all it is is them trying to cash in on a game that, by the way, doesn't even work on my fucking system still. Because it still freezes. It still gets that image asset error limit thing from like 4,700 assets or whatever, which is bullshit. You're making a game, and yet you haven't fixed those issues, and you're still expecting me to throw more money at you? Like, come on. That's why I don't buy DLC. Because I'm paying $60 for a base game. I expect that base game to have everything in it and work on day one. It's five months into the game, and the game doesn't still fucking work. Like, and you want me to hand you more money. Like, I don't understand. Like, I... <sighs> I, j I just, I don't get it. I really don't, and I don't understand why... Why people feel the need to purchase supply drops in... I... <sighs> God, I, I hate the fact that people can just waste their money like that. But even just beyond that, like, it's it's really stupid. Like, it's not a free-to-play game. Like, if, it, if this was a free-to-play game, if I could just download Call of Duty and throw it on my system and have all the guns and everything, and I could work my way up and not actually have to pay for anything, and then they gave me the option to pay for random drops, it'd be like, all right, sure, whatever, that's cool. But this is a full-fledged $60 game. Like, Hearthstone. Let's take Hearthstone for an example. Hearthstone, you can... Play that whole game for free. I've played everything in Hearthstone for free except for the Nax Ramus expansion. I paid for that personally. Um, because I enjoyed that game and because I knew exactly what I was going to get out of it. I got a single player adventure with like 15 cards that were all mine and like 5 legendaries. I paid for that game. I paid for that expansion because it was an expansion. I knew exactly what I was getting and I knew exactly what I was going to get from it. I refuse to pay for a random fucking generator, a random number generator to tell me, oh, I get a speakeasy or I don't get a speakeasy or anything like that. Like, that's just, it's insane. It's insane. And I just, I don't have words for that. I mean, really, Activision, you guys, you guys are stupid really low. You just try and milk everything you can out of Call of Duty. And I'm getting to the point where I'm probably not going to buy Black Ops 3 or whatever the hell Treyarch's putting out because, honestly, it's probably going to come out broken as hell on the PlayStation 3 anyways if it even comes to the PlayStation 3. Which, by the way, yeah, it's going to because they can't not sell to this market. Um, there's no way. 
there's no way that they can not sell to 80 million PlayStation 3s and 80 million 360s when there's only like 10 million of each of the newer generation consoles. And don't tell me PC has a chance because they don't even give a shit about their PC ports. Um, so, yeah, you can bet that they're going to have a version of the game on the PlayStation 3 and the Xbox 360, and it's probably going to suck. Just like just like Advanced Warfare's kind of sucking. Like, I would personally want to play more, but I can't. So, I, I don't know. I'm losing faith in Call of Duty. And, I mean, this is coming from a person who got into the game and before it thought that Call of Duty was a complete fucking sellout. And now it's really becoming a sellout. So, yeah, I don't know. I don't know what to feel anymore, but uh, supply drops are stupid. Buying supply drops is even stupider. And, uh, yeah, that's it. Peace out. Acceptable. Atlas leader out. 